You ever heard of a block heater? I had not until we lived in New England for a while, and in those bitterly cold winters, a lot of places actually needed them. A block heater is used to actually warm up your engine before you need to start it and get it going. Yeah, it heats up your engine before the thing is on. Isn't that crazy? Well, it's necessary when your engine has sat in the cold of wintertime. And guess what, creative? You too need a good warm up before you're ready to take off down that highway. If you have been blocked, you are an engine that is stone cold. You are buried in the snow of winter, and it probably feels like you're never going to drive again. But you will, and getting warmed up is part of that. By now, as I've gone over it a million times, you know the two principles that we go by here. One, make one new thing every day. Two, allow it to be tiny and terrible. Because that gives you the ability to make anything. Anybody can make it wrong. I've also taught you repeatedly to make sure that your daily standard for what I must do every day is a low bar, not because you're limiting yourself, but because you need to set it at a level that on your bad days, when you're having a bad brain day or you have no time or you're exhausted, you can still step over that bar and keep going. Now, of course, I want you to stretch beyond that low bar. That is the goal. But in order to do that, you need a warm up. There are a lot of ways to warm up as a creative. There's the physical aspect of it. Hand exercises, wrist exercises. You can look up things like how to work against carpal tunnel and you're going to find that a lot of those things work for you even if you don't have carpal tunnel. It's just loosening up your muscles, getting them ready to respond to what you want them to do. There's also the mental aspect of warming up. This is part of taking in new art, taking in things that are old that you love, analyzing the things that you love to figure out why you love them. In fact, I love the practice of looking back at art that got you inspired to want to make your own. Which authors moved you? Which books? Which movies? Which works of art? Which comics? Which fantasy artists? Which things did you see or hear or experience that made you go, I need to do this too? Dive into that. Enjoy it. That's part of your mental warm up. It's not just absorbing and feeling good. It's starting that process of figuring out how it works and how it made you feel good. All of these things are part of your journey. And it's hard to do when you feel like you don't have time and maybe you're wasting time because you've been blocked and you're already behind, already late. It's, it, it, you don't have time to do this stuff. You need to get going. You're already behind. You're not behind. You're not late. You are exactly where your life's journey led you to be. All the things you've experienced, you've known, you've tasted, you've felt, all of that goes into your art. You cannot be late because it's entirely the schedule that you are on in your life. If you're walking down a path, you're walking at the pace you're walking. It doesn't matter what anybody else is doing. This is your path and your pace. So you're not late and you do have time to do a little bit of warm up. Physical, mental, emotional. If you are willing to do a little bit of warm up before you sit down for those few minutes of absolutely, possibly garbage creation, you're going to find the creation isn't quite as garbage as you feared. Do not dismiss the power of a warm up. Try it this week, at least a couple of times, and see how it affects what you're doing. I can't wait to see what you make. Sit down with me now and let's make something new.